trade covers a very wide range of issues, and it's no different uh, between Canada, U.S., and our bilateral relations. Uh, I mean, it starts with uh, basic border stuff like customs, trade remedies, but extends into product regulation, packaging, labeling, language issues, and regulatory compliance across the board. Before 2016, trade relations between Canada and the U.S. were pretty smooth. NAFTA had been in effect for over 20 years. There are always outliers and frictions in trade between Canada and the U.S., uh, softwood lumber, dairy, for example. Uh, with the new U.S. administration, the focus has clearly changed from uh, normal but important day-to-day -day compliance matters like rules of origin, certifications, regulatory compliance, to a very different landscape involving trade uh, friction in a very overt way and trade retaliation. The new U.S. administration put NAFTA into play, but much more. NAFTA was talked about as the worst trade deal in history by the Trump campaign before the election, and then subsequently the first action they did on the trade front was to withdraw from the Trans-Pacific Partnership. But it didn't stop there. It was immediately followed by disputes with China, with the EU, uh, tariffs uh, on steel and aluminum, and much, much more. And now we're talking counter-retaliation by Canada and other countries. Not only that, but we're starting to see unilateral trade action by Europe, by Canada, in steel and other areas. It's been a tremendous uptick in trade remedies uh, around the world, and Canada and U.S. are no different than that. The U.S. has weaponized the use of trade remedies around the world, and Canada hasn't been left out of that. Surprisingly to some, after many years of a lull in trade remedy disputes between Canada and the U.S., Canada is in the crosshairs. Uh, that has resulted in a great increase of trade remedy uh, usage against uh, Canada from the U.S. and retaliation uh, from uh, Canada uh, against the U.S. It has also brought into play uh, third country imports into the North American territory, and it has created a tremendous amount of business uncertainty. The action on the U.S. trade front hasn't been limited to trade remedies, tariffs, steel, and the like. Since then, we've seen further action on sanctions and other compliance areas. BLG has an unparalleled scope of expertise in international trade law in Canada. We are the broadest and deepest international trade practice in the country that offers clients uh, really the full range of expertise in all matters pertaining to international trade, whether that's trade and treaty negotiations, customs, trade remedies, export controls, sanctions, uh, other international compliance issues. BLG is uh, the leading practice in Canada by any measure. We represent multinational corporations and governments in all manner of trade disputes and negotiations, investor state, free trade, and other matters.